So guys, the time has come. Bale challenge time. You can see that John's put some bales out here for us ready. We're, um, we're up on the off farm. Just sorted out these cattle and weighed them. And there are the bales. Thank you, Nick, for the nomination. We'll give it our best go. So we're just figuring out a technique here. So I was going to go the same as what Nick did, straight up over, down the other side, mm. pull this side back, same again, same again, and then run around the other side, pull back. How do you usually open a bale then? Well normally I would open it with a, I'd cut the round up on the stack. Yeah. Mm. See John thinks they should be on their flats. That's how you open a bale. <laughs> but for the consistency of the challenge, we're going to do them this way. There was who's, one. The, who's the fastest? Farmer Phil, I think. And how did he do it? I can't remember. Hmm. I think yeah, they were up like this. Because if you go down the middle, you always have one side that's easier to pull off than pull the off other. Pull off the other, yeah. And they should I think he, accurate. I think he went up and around. Yeah. And down. Perhaps we should do that. And make sure if you come not the opposite, I wouldn't. I'd start here and work your way around to about here. Right. Then that bit falls away. That bit falls away. Well, we'll give it a go. Get me a weapon of choice. The sword out. Sword, yeah. Well, funny enough, Nick Nick threw away his sandy knife, his Rolson knife. I got the very same one. Brand new blade. He's got the he got the cattle the cattle foot knife. Old school. What do they call them? Um, lamb's foot. Lamb's foot knife. That's it. You know, we're going Stanley blade. All out. All out. Right. You're going to have to uh, do some filming. That's fine. Are you happy with the positioning? I'm happy. Do you want to cut off any loose flaps? No. <laughs> not, the, not, off the, the not off the back. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think we'll, um, we'll roll with it. Right. Are you happy to time it on your phone as well? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'll take off my jacket. It's serious. I get undressed now. <laughs> Don't get to warm up. <laughs> Off. How's that what you're wearing? That's what they do. Some of this? Yeah. Right, we'll start. I don't know, what do you reckon? Left to right or right to left? Up to you. Oh. It's as broad as it's long, isn't it? I'm going to go right to left. Right, so. Knife on the bail. Hands on the bail. Right then, are you ready? I'll try and keep it in the, in the old shop. I feel like I was born ready. I feel like being from Devon, I was born and bred on round bales. Well, yeah. I was effectively reared on a round bale. Now then, in the words of Mr. Davy, it's gone black. <laughs> That's fine though, it's still recording, I'll take it. <laughs> Good. Right then. <laughs> Have you seen um, Lethal Weapon when they pull him, when he pulls him out of the, off the toilet into yeah. the bar? <laughs> you should watch our film. it <laughs> make this very relevant. And he says, is it on three or after three? Oh, I see. So if you say three, two, one, Go. go. Right. And then I'll go when you say go. Right. Three, two, one, go. New technique. Oh, I never cut that one up, did I? Bollocks. It's got to go back. It's got to go back. Twenty one, twenty two. Sat down. No. Stop. Yeah. I stopped it for a second. Oh. What too early. Too early. Oh. So it's twenty eight point naught six. Damn it. I, I let No I no no, it's it's probably twenty nine point naught six. Oh, even worse. No, it's alright. Oh I wanted to beat Phil. How many times can you do it? Oh, we don't <laughs> too many bales. <laughs> I feel like I let myself. What did I do wrong? I uh, I didn't cut one up at the start. It was the end one. Yeah, I had to come back for that one. Yeah. Bother. Drat. That's well, still a very respectable time. I'm out of breath. Well, you went like hell. I'm the most physically unfit specimen around. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well there you are. So John's now got the rather difficult task of trying to feed these bales out after I slice all the net off the sides of them. So uh, he'll have fun with that. But thank you again, Nick, for the uh, nomination. I'm gutted we couldn't beat Phil's time of 27 seconds. 
Uh, we ended up here on 29.06, I think John said. Um, so a good effort anyway. I was hoping to bring it home for the Devon boys, but there you are. I guess that moves us on to nominations. So uh, we'll keep it in Devon for the first one. I'll nominate the farming bros, James and Ben. Um, you guys feed round bales, I see, so uh, you better weigh sharpen your knives and have a go each. Um, another person I'd like to nominate is someone I just started following recently on YouTube, um, which is Jude, keep calm and run a dairy farm. Jude, if you get the chance, mate, have a go. It's a bit of fun. And, uh, and just for fun, we'll throw it all the way up to uh, some of my family. So Paige, or uh, if Paige, if you haven't got enough bales to feed, or you're not using enough, then squeak or Mandy. Get your knives out, film it, and uh, you can either stick it on Paige's YouTube or I'll stick it up on here if you want. That'll be a good one for Paige's channel. So uh, my cousin Paige has just started her own channel. I think she's called Shepherdess Paige on YouTube, but I'll leave a link in the description, as I will to the other guys as well. John helped me out with the filming and the recording and um, doing the timing. So he'd like to nominate the Tipperary farmer, his friend Noel from Ireland. Have a go. Put it on Twitter for us all to see. Bit of fun, innit? So uh, there we go, guys. Hope you enjoyed the bale challenge. These guys are now tucking into them. And uh, yeah, see you all very soon. Cheerio.